Hello and welcome to Movie Mayhem. Today we're going to review Lucky McKee's Blood Money from 2017. Um, I've enjoyed Lucky McKee's work. I think it's kind of a little bit different. And there's just some unique flavors, especially... I think the way the characters develop in his films really makes it interesting. Some of the stories could be kind of, you know, dull or maybe contrived and come off very exploitation-like, um, especially something like The Woman or even May. But the way he develops the characters often endears me to something about them. And that makes the films, to me, very interesting. Uh, the last one that he did before this was All Cheerleaders Die. Pretty pretty cool film. Um, felt a little less inspired, in my opinion, than his earlier works. And Blood Money kind of goes down the same road. So it's got John Cusack as our, as our star, the only star. The rest of the people, I, you know, they're just, I have no idea who they are. Um, they do their, their roles fine. Uh, but that's their selling point, right? That's their marquee artist. That's on the box cover. That's what's going to sell it to different territories, etc. And this really, to me, feels... I can understand why McKee would pick this film based on the script, and I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, but this very much feels like paycheck. And I don't mean that in a negative way. Um, I, I kind of talked about this in the, the decline of uh, cinema civilization is, I mean, these the directors, they need money. They've got to get work, right? So they've got to take what they can get. And McKee's work is very specific, you know? he's not. It's not going to make a ton of money. You're never going to see, you're never going to see the woman making, you know, $100 million at the box office, right? So they've got to make a paycheck. So I don't mean that in a negative context, but in a way it feels like that. Now, I, I will start off, This it's very well directed the acting is solid the cinematography is actually really good it's just out kind of in the woods like a camping trip but it's very engaging visually so mckee did a great job as a director I, I think it's a very solidly directed film i think the technical aspects are great the script is what loses me I, the script is weird and, and there's just parts of it i do not understand um there's specifically a part where, so the, the story is these um, three, I don't know, 20-somethings uh, go out camping. They were friends since childhood. Uh, it's a girl and two guys. The one guy had, you know, wanted to be with the girl and they kind of dated for a while and then she moved on to the other guy. Why they would all go camping together <laughs> in that situation, who knows? But they find a bunch of cash in some bags. And, of course, one of the guys says, we need to turn it into the police, and the other two just want to take it and run. Now, had they just taken it and run, it might have worked, but they're, you know, incompetent buffoons as far as taking it and running. Uh, there's just... One scene bothered me so much, I just could not get over it. The character who doesn't want the money, he takes off and leaves. But on the bags of money, each bag had a, like, bright... Uh, bright yellow um, tie around the handle. He removes the tie from the bag and ties it to his backpack. No idea why. I, I couldn't understand why. I knew what was going to happen. I said, oh, now John Cusack, he's the one who lost the money is looking for it. He's going to see that and know they have the money. I knew that was what was going to happen. But I couldn't for the life of me grasp why he took that. It, it just doesn't make any sense. And honestly, that was a breaking point for me in the film because it was so dumb. And, and so, just it just took me out of it. Now, let's get back to the story. They, they try to have some background depth, but... I'll say right off the bat, honestly, the only character I liked was Cusack, who we are led to believe is some kind of horrible criminal. The other three, I, I mean, I guess the, the the one guy is not so bad. The guy doesn't want the money, but he's a little uh, high on the his virtue horse, right? Um, 
and I, I'm going to give spoilers because I don't think it matters to the context of the film. Uh, apparently, you know, he had, he was dating the girl and she got pregnant and had an abortion and didn't ask him and he's distraught over it and, you know, wants them to get back together and, and make it up and she doesn't want to. Um, apparently she needs money. So she's with the other guy because his family's rich and her running scholarship is going to run out because she's hurting. She hurt her uh, knee. Again, it's very light on the background of these characters, but they're not nice people. <laughs> they're just kind of pieces of shit. I mean, especially the girl just is horrible. I mean, it, it didn't take, she immediately turns on all of them. You could just see it like she's ready to screw them over in every way humanly possible. And the, you can have a villain, right? And again, Kusak was the villain and I thought he did a great job, except she's far worse. Like on a, from a moral perspective and from her actions, she's far worse than he is. Um, and basically, they, they go, like, they try to do something, too. With They have all these, these uh, giant, like, gym bags of money. And they want to get out without even seeing them. I'm like, you're, so, <laughs> this is another stupid part of the script. They take all the bags and tie them under their raft and then, you know, go down the uh, river and they lose a bag in the water. Now, you're camping. Why wouldn't you have bags? Why do you need to hide them? have lots of bags when you go camping it's again i'm back to it makes no sense the script to me just kept throwing me off like it doesn't make any sense why are they doing this um so the girl basically betrays eat both guys as many times as she can um you know uh, while kusak is chasing them down uh you know Again, we're supposed to believe he's a bad guy, but he really only accidentally kills, uh, you know, kills a, kills a cop, and it was by accident, and he didn't really mean to do it. So you're kind of like, I don't know, is he bad? Where did he get this money? Which could have been a really interesting story arc, but it, it kind of goes nowhere. The whole thing is we're supposed to feel sorry for the... This is what I believe the writer's intent was. We feel sorry for the girl because she feels like she needs money to keep going to college. I, I don't know. And when she's all, she's also angry that the two guys desire her. There's one real brief moment where she complains about that. I'm like, well, okay, but so what you're dating, but you dated both of them. Maybe don't do that. I, I don't know. I, again, it, it's so brief that you're like, okay, but where is this going? Other than you were justifying her killing, killing all of them effectively. One of them she directly kills. Um, <laughs> the, the, the other one indirectly kills. And of course, uh, th this is where, this is the huge spoiler. Um, again, I, I don't think it would change your perception of the film. Everybody ends up dying, but not in a cool, glorious way. Like, yeah, they got what they deserve. It's like, well, that was kind of shitty. Everybody ends up dying, even Kusak. And I felt sorry for him. And the girl just gets off and walks away at the end of the film. And that was it. That was the end of the film. So the, the, the issue was, I feel like, he, he, like he's done this type of concept before, like the woman but you feel for her. You're on her side. You're on her side, honestly, almost from the first second. In this case, you aren't. She's a terrible human being, and she does horrible things, and it gets away with it. So I was kind of left at the end of the film feeling like, well, huh. I didn't enjoy watching that. It, 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 you know, I like that it was a little bit different, but the problem was the script was too stupid. And, and, I feel like McKee's talents were really wasted on this film because it could have been something, but it just seems like the, the writing was very amateurish in parts and didn't go to the psychological depth that it needed to. So at any rate, I mean, I think this is a uh, interesting film in the history of McKee, but overall, I definitely wouldn't recommend it. I didn't enjoy the watch. Um, 
you know. So I'm hoping, you know, hoping he gets something pretty cool next time. So that's Blood Money uh, 2017. Uh, let me know what you guys thought if you happen to see it, and be sure to like, subscribe, and check us out on Patreon.